Hey y'all and welcome to How Do You Cook? Back to Basics. So I have a recipe that I have been wanting to share with you all for a little while now. Um, some of you may already know that I went to Dollywood a few weeks ago and I picked up a cookbook that was in one of the stores there. And within this cookbook, Dolly Parton herself put some of her recipes in there. So today we're gonna to be trying out Dolly Parton's coleslaw recipe. Um, you probably already have most or some of these ingredients in your refrigerator or your cabinet. Um, so the hardest part though to get to make this coleslaw recipe is just getting everything together. Everything else will just fall into place, y'all. So let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is get all of my wet ingredients mixed up into this mixing bowl. First, we have one cup of mayonnaise. We're gonna put that in here. We have one fourth cup of sweet pickle juice. Put that in there. One fourth cup of white vinegar. That right there. We have two teaspoons of sugar. one teaspoon of salt, and one fourth teaspoon of black pepper. And the recipe calls for one dill pickle chopped, or you can put in one tablespoon of pickle relish. So I opted for the one tablespoon of pickle relish. So we're gonna put that in there. And now we're gonna start mixing. Got to be very careful not to get any of these wet ingredients all over. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna set this over to the side and I'm gonna grab our cabbage. So now we're gonna add our vegetables. So this is about one head of a small to medium uh, cabbage. And now we're gonna add one medium onion, finely chopped. You don't have to add as much onion in yours if you don't want. You can actually omit it if you want to, if you don't like onions. I have a half of a bell pepper here that is finely chopped. And the recipe calls for one grated carrot, but I opted to go ahead and get the carrots that are already shredded. And I chopped these up just a little bit more than what they were. So I kind of eyeballed about how much carrots it would take to equal to one carrot. So I'm gonna put in, this is about one cup of shredded carrots. So I'm going to give this a quick toss around before we add our wet ingredients. Okay, so now we are going to add our wet ingredients. Try to get all that goodness out of there as much as you can. Ooh, it smells so good and fragrant. And now we're just gonna mix it all up together. Well, it is taste test time and I am so ready to try out Dolly Parton's recipe for coleslaw. So, moment of truth, y'all. I'm, I'm sure it's gonna be good because Dolly's good at everything, I do believe. All right, I got me a little bite. I'm using a spoon because I like to sop up some of that juice that's down in the bottom. So there's y'all a bite. And now it's time for me. Oh my God. Mmm. Mmm. This is delicious. Mmm. Oh. This is so delicious. All the combinations are like the sweet pickle relish and the, and the uh, sweet pickle juice and the onion, all of it combined. 
perfect. Mmm. Well, y'all, this is the best coleslaw I have ever put in my mouth. It has the right amount of sweet and savory. And for my onion lovers, you can taste onion in here. It is so good, y'all. You know, when you go to a restaurant and you order coleslaw with a fish dinner or whatever you order coleslaw with, and you take a bite of your coleslaw and it's just bland and no flavor and it's just blah, you know? Well, this is not like that. Dolly knows what she's doing when it comes to cooking. And she knows how to put all that flavor in this coleslaw, y'all. So you need to go out there and grab your ingredients and make you a big batch of coleslaw because if you don't, you're missing out. <laughs> I'll tell you, I wish this had taste and smell of vision because you would eat this up. This is so good, y'all. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode on how do you cook back to basics. And if you did, please hit that like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos, y'all. Until next time, bye-bye now.